This is Kevin F. Pope with Pope's Perspective and my 30 Days of Disney. Now today, we are going to wish upon a star because I am talking about Pinocchio. Now, Pinocchio is a very interesting film for me because I never liked Pinocchio as a kid. And I revisited it as an adult and I watched it and I'm like, why did I not like this film? This film is great. I mean, first off, the animation is beautiful. I mean, the, the layers, the background, the depth in the scenes. It's just like Walt Disney was like ahead of his time in what he was doing. And so I know he had like certain cameras and stuff that he was working on with his animation to put depth into it. And Pinocchio, you were like engulfed into that world. Like you enter the world of Pinocchio and it's great. And the characters, like so many great characters, okay? First off, Jiminy Cricket. I mean, he's become a Disney icon. I mean, even if you don't know Pinocchio or if you've never seen Pinocchio, most everyone has heard of Jiminy Cricket. I mean, he just, he's, he's such a, he's a delightful character. He's, he's just, I don't know, he's kind of, he's a cute, adorable little guy, but sometimes he gets a little bit, he's got his little moments. Pinocchio is a story about Geppetto makes this puppet and he wants to have a son and the blue fairy comes and she grants Geppetto's wish by bringing Pinocchio to life, okay? And it's actually, it's really sweet. Like, she grants him the wish because, because he's such a good man and he has given delight to children with his puppetry. It's really, it's really sweet. And Pinocchio is just, he's so innocent. He's so likable. I mean, he is... He is just, he, um, um, unfortunately for him, he's also very gullible as he meets Honest John, who's actually a fox. And Honest John is not so honest. And pretty much Pinocchio goes on these series of adventures. And he, he gets into trouble. And um, at some points, the Blue Fairy comes and helps him out. At other points, she doesn't. Um, and then you've got Jiminy Cricket along for the ride as Pinocchio's conscience. And it's so funny because like he isn't like, he comes in, he's just, he's a regular cricket. And he just, he just comes in and um, the Blue Fairy's like talking about how it's like, now you have to be a good boy, Pinocchio. If you want to be a real boy, you have to learn to good. You have to be good. And part of that is listening to your conscience. And he... Pinocchio goes, what's a conscience? And Jiminy Cricket, who has, who is listening in, is like, I'll tell you what a conscience is. A conscience is that still small voice that tells you what's good and what's wrong. And he's just explaining about what a conscience is. And Pinocchio thinks a conscience is a person, an actual being. And it's like, are you my conscience? And, and... The Blue Fairy asks him, would you like to be Pinocchio's conscience? It's like, um, yeah. <laughs> and part of it, because it seems like he's enamored with the Blue Fairy. He's enamored with everything and like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fun to see um, Jiminy Cricket acting, interacting in this world. Like, he kind of just tags along for the ride, but becomes a part of... A part of it at the same time and he's he's a kick he's so much fun I love Jiminy Cricket okay and of course Jiminy Cricket sings the iconic song when you wish upon a star oh a great song great song um, and so it's just like you get character to character to character you get all of these characters are so fascinating and interesting and what's interesting about Pinocchio is it doesn't have one villain. You've got, you've got Honest John who uses Pinocchio's innocence, his naivety, and he takes advantage of that. He takes advantage of how he can get 
gain from this. Okay, then you have Stromboli, who is the puppet who runs the puppet show that Honest John sells Pinocchio to, that convinces, like, Pinocchio, you should be an actor. And, um, Hi Diddly Dee. Oh, another great song. I mean, this is just, this song is so full of Disney from the beginning, just knocked it out of the park with their songs. Because, like, uh, just like they're just high diddly dee and actors life for me such a fun fun song so pinocchio goes off on that things don't work out with that strombolio is not so nice he puts pinocchio in a cage he threatens to burn him if he doesn't do what he says um this movie does get dark it does not shy away from the dark territory and you know what i actually like it all the better because of that it just it, I don't know, there's just something. And then, of course, Pleasure Island. Pinocchio goes off into Pleasure Island, and then you have the um, another villain, the Coachmaster, who takes the boys off to Pleasure Island, and it's just a place where you could just do what you want, and it just, they think it's so great, but Pleasure Island isn't so great. And so, because the boys, okay, they turns into they turn into jackasses because they make jackasses of out of themselves. They literally turn into jackasses. That's why they become donkeys, okay. And just watching Lampwick, who Pinocchio befriends when he goes to Pleasure Island, and Lampwick is just he's just like, I'm a tough guy, huh? Yeah. Ah, oh, who cares? Like, we, we're gonna do what we want. Like, we don't have to, we can, we gotta follow our own rules. Who needs rules? Rules are stupid. That's, that's pretty much Lampwick. He's a pretty, he's like a tough kid. Like, he doesn't take no guff from nobody. And then, when Pinocchio sees Lampwick turning into a donkey, that scene is terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying because you see in this tough kid become this scared animal and it just like Disney doesn't shy away from it and you know what they shouldn't shy away from it the world has dark moments and then the final villain who doesn't speak um, Monstro the Whale and apparently many Years and generations have been scared of, like, Monstro the Whale is the one that scared people. And I'm like, okay, I can see, I can see that. I can see why Monstro the Whale was scary. So, um, so really, Pinocchio is a series of adventures, but it's wrapped up around this, this loving kid. Like, he, he wants to be good. He really does, but he's... He's learning, he's making mistakes, but really he also, he learns from the mistakes. And it's just, it, oh my goodness, Pinocchio is wonderful all around, and it is my favorite of the Walt Disney era cartoons that were, of the Walt Disney animated films that came out while Walt, that Walt made. It's my favorite. I, I love I love Pinocchio. It's it's wonderful. Check Pinocchio out. Pinocchio is so much it's so much fun. You got great characters, great story, beautiful beautiful animation. Um it is just I love I love Pinocchio. It's a gr another great Walt Disney film. And that's the Pope's perspective. You know, this is a little minor tangent, but it'd be kind of be interesting to see kind of the the um, the telling of Pino of Geppetto's story before Pinocchio.